How's it going everyone? Codename Soap here and welcome to a brand new series. This is Let's Play Skyrim. Um, we are at the character creation screen of Skyrim. Um, I'm going to actually be playing through as an assassin, thief, uh, sneaky, badass kind of character. Uh, and what we're doing is choosing a Khajiit, uh, namely because what you can see here. Uh, they're intelligent, quick, agile. Uh, they make excellent th thieves due to their natural stealthiness, and all Khajiit can see in the dark at will and have unarmed claw attacks. Uh, namely, that see in the dark comes in handy. Uh, the stealthiness, they have bonuses to, you know, thief kind of skills, sneaking and whatnot. And that's a kind of character we are planning on playing. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is name our badass character and give them a badass name. And their name is going to be... Cat face. Meowmers. <laughs> there we go. That works just fine. So anyway, um, I've skipped past kind of the intro, Kavansky. namely because I've seen it so many times. Captain, what should we do? And it He's can't be a little boring, but I can summarize Forget it for you guys. He goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. Anyway, um, there's a civil war going on in Skyrim between the Imperials and the Stormcloaks. Stormcloaks are, I guess you could say, the rebels of this group. And, yeah, they're causing trouble in the Skyrim. Um, they're not too happy with the law and the order of the land. And so Ulfric Stormcloak, you can see here, is the leader. And they have captured them along with us. And here we are in Helgen, getting ready to be beheaded. There's a bit more backstory than that, but I will let the story unfold naturally, as you see before you. Got some dragon noises. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Oh, and by the way, I am playing on PC. Um, I'm just using an Xbox controller. Um, I just like the feel of it a bit better. And yeah, PC, Skyrim, no mods at all. I've got a um, couple of things downloaded. I don't have uh, Dragonborn downloaded, but I do have Dawnguard and Hearthfire installed. I will get Dragonborn by the time this is over. Anyway, this guy. Good job! <laughs> there goes his head. Oh, she's not too happy. Oh, someone is happy. Um, things happiness. As he was in life. Next, the cat. The uh, the Khajiit char uh, our characters. Ooh. Noises. Did you hear that? I said next prisoner. To the block prisoner. Nice and easy. Anywho, uh, the Khajiit are actually discriminated against very, very highly in Skyrim. They are they're generally hated by all, um, namely because they're typically thieves. <laughs> and people don't like thieves in Skyrim. But we like thieves. Oh there's a dragon. It's a dragon, Tullius. Boom! This is such a cool looking thing. Just look at this. Wait for it. Cinnamon, no! <laughs> no cinnamon! Oh. Uh, such a just cool intro to a game. Alright. I'm gonna kinda speed through this intro part. Um, namely because there's not much going on. So yeah, I'm just gonna run through here. That guy had a heart attack and exploded. What is that thing? And here comes dragon through the wall. Ow! <laughs> um, oh, also, let me pause this real quick. Um, I am playing, as you can see here, on Master Difficulty. So, for those of you who are curious, yes, we're playing on the hardest difficulty possible. Anyway, back to the game. All right, we just got to jump from the tower here, down here like so. <laughs> Harsh landing. But yeah, uh, the difference between Master Difficulty and most of the others is kind of the... Get out of the road, kid. Cinnamon, no! <laughs> anyway, whoa. The main difference is damage-based. Uh, 
your character does half damage compared to, you know, your other difficulties, and the enemies do double damage. And what we're going to do is hopefully get some pretty sweet weapons to negate that. Um, anyway, and some potions. I've got some role-playing things I want to do with this character. At least you're bickering. Um, but we don't want to side with these bastards here, the Imperials, because they just tried to kill us. So we're going to go with the Stormcloak here, and we're going to come inside. Alright, we're inside the keep. We'll meet again in Solemngard, brother. Rayloff is none too pleased. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. That thing was a dragon, no doubt. I agree. Just like the children's stories and the legends. That was definitely a dragon. Harbingers of the end times. Well, cut me we loose. better get moving. Come here. Come here. Cut Let me, me see loose. if I can get those <laughs> off. Ah, there freedom. You may as well take gun your Let's get a good look at my character. You won't be needing it anymore. Oh, get the light so you can see. Here we go. That armor Badass, the just isn't doing giant any good. cat man. Go ahead, take it. All right. Anyway, we're gonna take this guy's gear. We're gonna equip this axe um, and this armor and boots. All right. Get that armor on and give that axe a few swings. I'm going to see Whoosh. if I can find some way out. Whoosh. Swish. Ah, Swish. It's locked. <laughs> Let's see about that gate. Okay. Yes, sneaky character. Um, we're not going to be really sneaky, like, right here off the bat. Um, Damn. No way to open this from our side. Just because it's kind of hard to be sneaky really quickly in this game. I mean, as, at least, like, right off the bat. Um, Come on, soldiers, keep moving. It, very, it caters more to your, uh, your traditional, I guess you could say, fighter style. All right. Here comes our first battle. It's going to be a little tricky. Boom! She's wearing heavy armor, so this won't be easy. Ugh, get some. Alright, run around, run around. Get this guy, he's in light. Armor, a few swings, and back away. Wah! Get out of the way, banners. <laughs> they don't seem to... Rayloff doesn't seem to be a good tank right now. Boom! All right, she's down. I don't know. I put my weapon away. That was an accident. All right, let's get this guy. Splash! All right, our stamina went low there for a second. But let's see what they have on them. Uh, we got some better armor, so we're going to go ahead and equip that. Not going to equip a helmet just because it looks a little stupid. Um, but it does have a good weight-to-value ratio. The way I like to play this um, is if the weight, if you can multiply that by 10 and it is less than the value, uh, then it is worth it. So this is definitely worth it, so I'm going to at least take it. Uh, the boots do boost our armor rating by one, so we'll go ahead and equip those. We don't have bracers, so we're going to equip those. Um, sword is doing about the same damage as our axe, but swords do swing faster than axes, so we're going to go ahead and equip that. And we're just going to take the iron dagger just to have some extra uh, loot. Here. Oh, just grabbing our ass. Yeah, get some, dude. Here we are. <laughs> Found the key. Let me... All right. Um. No. 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 Actually, I tell you what. We're gonna go ahead and take this because we're gonna make some money. Uh, we're gonna sell this stuff, and I'm actually gonna come back here because there's more items back here. Uh, what do we got? Back in this way, we got a chest. We got some cool stuff. We'll just take it. Sword on the wall, sword on the wall. Uh, there's some gold, yeah, here we go. Get some gold. Okay, and let's go meet back up with Rayloff and make our way through the keep. Okay, here we go. Come on, this way. Pick up some cabbage here, because we can sell that and use it to eat if we need to resource some health eat this salt pile. Um, my character is going to be an, uh, an alchemist as well. Um, I don't really like to <clears throat> use uh, en enchanting and magic and 
I'll smith a little here and there to kind of help, get, you know, improve my weapons. But I guess you could say I'm more of a purist when it comes to my assassin characters. And I like to use, you know, po you know potions and poisons and things like that um, that I craft myself or that I steal. Plus, they can be good for... Um, what was it? They can be good for selling as well. Alright, right, Rayloff is tanking him right now, so we're gonna see if we can get behind him. Oh, I can't see! <laughs> I can't see! Um, I play in third person most of the time. Oh, hit Rayloff. <laughs> oh! Ooh. Right in the back. Ooh. Alright, we'll steal. we take all this stuff. Take this guy's stuff as well. Got some... Salt pile, minor magica, it's appealing. Get these ingredients as well, hanging up. All right, making our way quite nicely. Got some coat, some uh, potions in here. A few different types here. Your traditional healing magic stamina. Oh, I should uh. I should have prefaced this off the start. This isn't going to be really a let's play for, like, beginners, I guess you could say. This is just more of me playing for the fun of it. Um, showing you guys how I like to play the game. I love assassins and sneaky characters and rogues, I guess you could say. Um, artful Dodge. dodgers. <laughs> you know, whatever you want to call these guys. Um, they're, like, my favorite style to play. Now, oddly enough... I've only completed the storyline of Skyrim once, and I did that with a barbarian. Yeah. <laughs> Strange. I didn't complete it on Master, but I completed it on Expert, which is the next highest difficulty. Alright, Torturer's Resistant, come here. Have at thee! Alright, we took care of these guys. Search this guy. Take some stuff. No, I this guy as well. And we need to come over here, and there's some lock picks over Wait on this uh, bench like right this here and here. Okay. Um, it's locked. So and this book is worth a good picks. amount as well. We're not gonna actually read it, read it. Need that gold. Just Once pick it up and pick those up. Grab and anything you pick this as well. Now, if you guys watching this want me to, like, slow down and explain some things from time to time, I mean, feel free to definitely let me know. Because well, I am more than happy to explain what is going on. Um, but this intro, I'm just kind of breezing through it. Um, it, it, I mean, it's a nice intro to the game, a nice tutorial. So if you're planning on playing through, I mean, well, if you're playing it, you kind of have to go through this. Oh, broke a pick. I'm stupid. <laughs> um... But, oh, come on now. There we go. But it, you know, it covers your basic mechanics. Like that guy that I just got the robe and uh, things from. You know, if you're a mage character, you can pick up some good robes there. Increase your magicka. Uh, melee characters, obviously, you've been able to see. The reason why I got damaged a moment ago, though, uh, is because I ate this ingredient that damages our stamina. And we can learn that... Um, by, you know, learn these kinds of things by eating different ingredients throughout the game uh, to better craft our potions and our poisons with. So I will typically eat all the ingredients that I find to learn their capabilities. Now, there are some things I just know from memory, but um, for the most part, I will eat them anyway just to show you guys uh, how that whole thing works. Orders are to wait until General Tullius arrives. I'm not waiting to be killed by a dragon. We need to fall back. All right, we've got a room full of guys. Let's give the general some time. Do I have a bow? Let's see. I don't have a bow yet, but I'm about to pick one up. A bow is an assassin's... One of an assassin's best friends is a bow. Bow and arrow. And we're going to definitely be using that. All right. Uh, Stormcloak is tanking these two, so I'm going to... Actually, I tell you what, let's do this. Weapons. Let's equip a second one. Alright. Boom, get our one-handed skill up. Power 
attack with two hands there. Alright, and we'll just come up here. Here's the guys with the bows and arrows. Just gonna run. Oh, I got me in the arm. <laughs> Sticking out. And our character is gonna be a very squishy character, and what I mean by that is not a lot of hit points. Um, not, oh, you know, not gonna be good in some crazy fights. But that's kind of the idea is we're, that we're not going to get into a lot of fights. At least, like, up close. And longbow. Alright. I didn't take everything because right now I'm kind of almost to my carry weight of 300. And you can see I'm at 273, so I'm only getting the things that meet... Oh, that helmet didn't. <laughs> uh, that meet my requirements or my preferences. I guess you could say. Alright, I believe this guy has some arrows, yeah. That's, that's, those boots don't meet. There we go, alright. Let's be on our way. I'm gonna have some loot coming up here in a bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and favorite this bow, here we go. And I'll get it equipped see where to get it goes. ready for one of the things coming up here pretty soon. There's some spiders, some creepy crawlies. Not right, not right now, but I'm gonna run ahead of rail off here and pick up some some stuff back around this little cave area. Take a coin purse, search a skeleton, and another potion. <laughs> he's just so casual, he's just like, oh, cave in. Well, I guess my friends are going to have to find a way out. Alright, coin purse, and that's it for this. Alright, so here's where I needed my bow for. We're going to be sneaky. Some creepy crawlies right here. There's about five total. There's three small ones and two big ones that come out of the ceiling. So there's one right there. Take them out. Or miss. Crap. Draw them in a little bit. There we go. Alright, sneak attack, double damage. That one, and one more for the win. Or not. Let's see if we can push them out that way. There we go. Follow the... Boom! I don't know if you guys saw what I did there, but I shot that arrow a little bit further out to kind of lure him away because he didn't... It didn't detect me just yet. And he took the bait, and then I shot him. Rayloff almost got in the way and kind of screwed that up, though. Alright, so we got two more that are about to pop out of the ceiling, and we'll just keep this going right here. He's going to tank them while I'm going to do my sneaky stuff like that, and he got them. Cool. Too many eyes. <laughs> Alright, pick them, pick the stuff up off of them, because we can sell these potions, and even regain some of our arrows. Ooh, that one had gold on it. Nice. Alright, this egg sack. Some damage stamina. And... What else we got in this room? Oh yeah, there's something... If I remember correctly, there's a potion up here. No. That's in one of these other ones. Okay. Alright. Forward. Hurry up. He's trying to tell me to hurry up. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's a potion right over here. For coin purse? No, potion of health. There we go. Onward. Hold up. There's a bear just ahead. See her? All right, this bear, if I remember correctly, takes right about four sneak, sneak attack by. shots. So we're going to we're going to go ahead and Watch where you step. take it out. Like one. Or feeling lucky. Two. Take this bow. Might take her Three, and... Well, it would have been four, but Rayloff got her. Cool. But we gotta drop some stuff because we are a bit over-encumbered right now. Uh, just one thing. So, we'll drop a dagger. Actually, we wanna drop a little bit more because we're about to get some stuff. And we'll take both of those. But we gotta drop some more items here. And we'll do a couple of daggers. Alright, cool. 
That works. Put our bow away. And we're gonna make our way out of... Out of Helgen. Out of the caves. And that... Yep, here we are. Heading out. That's gonna do it for part one. We'll see you in part two.